The growth of women is critical to our society as they are our teachers, nurses, and primary caregivers from inception, which means that these qualities will be included in all areas of their lives. The agriculture sector consists of approximately 43% female, with only a few expanding in their respective fields. We leave you with these messages. I would love to encourage more farming. I actually think it's such, it is so basic to any economy. And um, I think the farming sector in this country is suffering a great deal. I don't think enough emphasis is put on it by the, by the powers that be. Uh, there's not enough incentives, there's not enough motivation um, to be able to do it. Most of the first world countries, and if we are striving to be a first world country, we have got to learn to be self-sufficient. And we are just not self-sufficient. If the men have dropped it, and them rather smoke weed and sit on the young men I'm talking. And sit on a, a, let we the women take up the button and let us run with it. We can make a difference if we apply ourselves and dedicate ourselves. We can have a strong, vibrant farming community. And we can do our part in making a successful economy because the basis of any successful economy is the ability to feed yourself. I once heard a story that if a man is applying for a job, a woman, they see the same advertisement and there are 10 points that they need, 10, um, 10 qualifications. The man will, will, will apply when he has one qualification and not the other nine. The woman will have the nine and not apply because she doesn't have the one. Woman, you need to be kind of bold and take it by force. Don't think about what you don't know, you learn it. I mean, go ahead, get a mentor. And for women who are in business, you need to always actively look for younger women, younger in terms of their business experience, and bring them along. Just go out there and find what it is that you love and take that passion forward because that is what really drives a lot of our businesses and that's a, a differentiator for many of us, is the passion that we have for what we do. Um, another big piece of the puzzle, I think, is education. And I don't, as a teacher, many persons will think that, you know, it's just about book learning. It's not. It's also about being street smart. And what we've found as well is that women socialize and we do network, but not in the sense that where the conversation ends, you actually go away with business information. So many of us will network and we do social chatter. But what we're focusing more on now is business talk. So when we get together as women in Wednesday, you'd be amazed at the, the ideas that come out. One, uh, some of the things that I do in my business have actually come out of those conversations, I can tell you. Um, we had a meeting in Mandeville where we were talking and somebody said, but you know, I remember when my grandfather used to plant, I think it's cassava, in his fields to keep away ants. And he got me thinking, how many ant products do we actually have? Does that really work? Why not start asking questions? Go and do the research. Go to scientific research council and say, listen, I have an interest in this area. Can you help? And when we have those kinds of meetings, it is all about business and about growing our businesses. We have fantastic women in Wensi who are excellent with a spreadsheet. And Grace comes to mind. Grace um, Foster Reed who owns uh, Eco Farms, and she's a whiz with her spreadsheet. Now what we do is, and we are working to do our national meetings that way this year, is that we have our women who will present. So we become experts, and that also helps to grow us as brands, which as you know is another favorite topic of mine, is personal branding and growing your own brand. And we really do help to grow and support each other as women. So the advice I would give, find an association that will be of benefit to you join the organization and don't go to the organization just simply for what you can get out of it but also what you can give focus on your education um, be open to learning be willing to share as well our organization is not one where you just simply come and withdraw you deposit yeah so be willing to share your ideas and just really just jumping you see something that you like you you think it can be done you go after it you get your information and just keep going meet Deline Powell a public relations professional who believes farming can be profitable if you follow tested and proven practices. Deline, Nutrimix salutes you. Thank you for watching AgriViews this week. Until next time, stay tuned.